This month of Ramadan is not just the month of fasting. It is the month of the Quran. Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah that the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. And that's the only time Shahru Ramadan is mentioned in the Quran in its name like that. And immediately after that, Allah does not speak about the fasting, but rather he speaks about the Quran. Now, one of the things we need to realize is for Allah to give so much of importance to the Quran every single year and to let this month come back every year. He could have said it's once every 10 years or like Hajj, once a lifetime, you guys have to fast. No, he said every year this month of Ramadan will keep coming back. And what you need to do is you need to read the Quran understand it, put it into practice, correct your recitation. It is my book. I've sent it to you. I want you to give it importance. It's the most important book in existence. It's the most important message ever. It is the message of Allah. It is that which Allah wants you to know. It is what your maker whom you're going to return to would like you to read, to go through, to understand the context. You may, for example, have questions. You will get those questions answered, bearing in mind that the way you grew up, you might not see certain things as normal because of the way you grew up, because of the way you were indoctrinated as you were little. But if you had seen other societies, other communities, other nations, other civilizations, and the way they did things, you would probably realize, you know what, we were actually wrong and backward as much as we thought we were so civilized, mashallah. So the criteria is the Quran. That's why Allah says, nasi wa bayyinatim min al huda wal furqan. Allah shows you the, uh, it, that this is guidance for mankind, and at the same time, the signs of guidance and criterion. Criterion meaning, not only does the Quran show you what's right and wrong, but the Quran will give you, or when you practice upon it, it gives you the ability to distinguish between right and wrong, because that ability is something that very few have. Very few nations have the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. And if you take it further down, very few people have the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. If you'd like the divine ability of distinguishing between right and wrong, it is in Revelation. 